Hello and welcome to Shoreline Music Monthly. My name is Mark Koshwitz. This is episode 63 in our series bringing you the best musicians on the shoreline. Um, just want to thank anybody who came out to last month's uh, Bottle It Up collection event. Um, some folks stopped by to say hello while we were playing. That was great. Um, the more important takeaway though is they raised $12,000 plus over $12,000 so now their total for um, over the years that they've been doing it to Smilo is over $50,000 one nickel at a time so thank you all for stopping by and dropping off your cans and bottles um, they do help. Uh, I also want to remind you uh, July 20th uh, Sweet Beats Music Festival Sweetwater Farm in Clinton uh, we've uploaded the longer version of the chat when I had Jess and Miner from Families Helping Families on to talk about it. So it is now on the VSC TV server. So if you want to see the extended version, you can do that. Uh, this month, very happy to have with me in the studio a gentleman who, well, has been uh, uh, on the scene for a very long time <laughs> for I mean seemingly since you were an embryo um, <laughs> I have uh, Mr. Steve Rogers Hello. Uh, from I mean a band as a teenager uh, venue owner um, bands as adults um, and on this actually on this show you've been name checked more than once as someone who has just helped other musicians uh, whether finding a gig, guiding, um, it's just great to have you on. Well, great to be it. here. Yeah, thanks so much. So, a little bio for folks who don't know you, perhaps. I mean, Cliff Notes version, because man, yours is, is pretty <laughs> extensive. <laughs> well, I started singing in church when I was five years old with my brother, and um, you know, by the time we were in uh, in middle school, we were writing songs together and learning to play guitar put out my first album with my brother um, when we were uh, 14 and 15 years old and we started playing gigs in the sort of like you know southern Connecticut area M our mom would have to drive us to all the gigs because we you know we weren't even out of high school never mind you know old enough to have a fake ID that would nev never have worked um, and well back then it was 18 it, at least so you know it's easier to uh, go no, fake. I was 21 and oh, was it? yeah remember I was an embryo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, you know, basically right out of high school, we put eight of our friends in an RV and toured around the country for 10 years. And, and wow. uh, after that, uh, after that 10 year experience of doing that, I thought it might be a great idea to open up an all ages music venue. And that was the next 15 years of my life. And um, I actually remember, um, I was actually wandering around a Treadwell Street parking lot at a tag sale. That, yep. um, <laughs> that I don't know if it was to help keep it going or to get it started or, or if it maybe it was something that was done more than once but I remember you were there and it was it was all about this place that I, I just had kind of heard of sure and uh, yeah there was well uh, I organized uh, four flea markets a year for 15 okay. years straight I and was, um, wow okay so I missed a lot of them <laughs> yes yeah, some of those would, would have uh, music on several different stages you know we'd have an acoustic stage and you know the all ages stage which would mostly be pop punk bands and mm -hmm. and you know stuff that would appeal to the younger the younger set and then on the other two sp stages at the outer space in the ballroom um, you know we'd have bands rotating all day long so and and some of those flea markets tag sales would you know there would be the flea market element outside, but there'd also be three, four hundred people inside enjoying music nice, throughout the course of nice. the day. So, kind of like a little circus. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the first time, the first time I, I, I don't know if you'll remember, but when the Coliseum was still standing, and there was a, uh, they used to have a buffalo wing festival of some sort, the Wing Ding. It like, benefited Easter Seals, and I think you were, you were playing there. It was a at least with your brother, it was like a strip down thing. Oh, and they did it down in the basement yeah, of the yeah, Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I remember that. I, I, I'm not sure if I was favorable or not. It's been yeah. so far. Yeah, you know, yeah, a long time ago. And then we played at the Coliseum on the on the main stage once, opening for probably better. Patty Smith and Ralph Nader, of all things, it was like a Ralph Nader rally. It was very oh. interesting. That's cool. Fun. Yeah. 
So I just want to, before we get too far down the road, I, I see you brought a couple of friends. I did. My so friend we, Suzanne Vick and my other friend Spencer Lucky. They're my only two friends in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got more now. I, yeah, great. Yeah, three camera people, yourself. <laughs> yep, I'm up to six. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and by the way, I, I did see you play with the young lady just a few days ago at, at Ames uh, Locapalooza yep, in Bethany. Great. And uh, that, was, that was a fabulous set. So I'm really looking for it. Oh, my wife. My wife loved it. Too. Well, thank you, wife. I will. <laughs> well, you just did. <laughs> thank you, wife. <laughs> between body and soul Conflictions war with the new and the old You can't move on when you're tangled in bites that are rooted in places you've long left behind that are rooted in places you've long left Platform, waiting for your train that takes you back to your starting place again where pieces go and flowers from the trees freedom from the weight of this world is for free freedom from the weight of this world is for free and you know Waiting for your train that 
takes you back to your starting place again where peace is gone and flowers from the trees freedom from the way to this world is for free freedom from the way to this world is for free freedom from the way to this world is for free I didn't get to the state the state house right you that just was had a, a big release. launch yep I about think. a month ago um, or maybe two or three months depending on when you're <laughs> watching on when we air uh, <laughs> spring of 2019 uh, I have a new album out it's called counted all joy um, and it's got 12 songs on it and uh, a lot of those songs were written in the season that followed uh, the endings of the spaces you know after 15 years it was time to you know explore new avenues and um, and then those songs kind of came out in that in that time period and it's been great to go around and share them because they're full of elements of sort of love and healing and and joy and happiness you know so uh, that's kind of what I want to do is go around and spread that kind of thing that's a beautiful goal yeah well now uh, some of the folks that are uh, who I, actually I guess I should just ask who who all is on the album um, is it, is well, my it? brother Johnny Rogers, who is uh, the guitar player uh, in, and founding member with me of Mighty Purple, he plays guitar on that album. And then um, a fella named Ben Dean uh, plays fiddle on that album, and he ran around with bands like uh, Caravan of Thieves, among others. Um, and Seth Adam, um, if you know Seth, he's a singer-songwriter based here in Connecticut and gets 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 around and plays a whole lot and um, he played bass on the, on the album and then um, a guy named Fred DeLeon uh, played keyboards and then a friend of mine sang on it uh, her name's Ricky Harkey and she um, she sang with me in church for five years or whatever and she just happened to be in town the, the week we were throwing it all together and so it sort of worked out that she came in and did it and she lives out in Co Colorado and and then uh, you know I've been singing with Suzanne for almost two years I think it's coming up on two years now and uh, you know we sing in church together on Sundays which is wonderful and and uh, you know recently we've just started singing a lot more together out and about and it's it's uh, you know it's 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 very special and magnetic and fun you know playing with a group of people that I do and my friend Spencer I just met him a couple months back now and we uh, you know I was looking for a pedal steel player and I was getting responses from people from New York City and further, you know, because I put up a, an ad on a couple of different places and none of, none of it was a, you know, none of that was a match and then I was in rehearsal and a friend of mine who plays with me, Ian Biggs, said, oh, you're looking for a pedal st steel player? Yeah, Spencer Lucky. And I, I got like, a guy. Yeah, and so the next week we got together and hung out and, you know, now, now we're just buds and hang out and play some music and, you know, went sailing on his, on his boat the other day, which I think is, you know, it's okay to mention that on a shoreline, you know. It, it, <laughs> we it we went along the shoreline, <laughs> yeah, in his Cape Cod cat boat. It was very cool. Nice, very yeah. cool. Um, so you've got the album out, you're supporting it. Um, mm -hmm. If people wanted to find you um, to, to catch a show, do you, I mean, yeah, my, we're not my, airing for a while, so that's okay. is there a way I mean, they could just go to find out? Yep, steveofficialmusic.com is the, you know, sort of catch-all spot where you can find right. out where to get the album and, you know, uh, where, we're play where we're playing and other things that I'm up to, like I, I, I'm going to Honduras this year and Suzanne's coming with, actually, and um, we're going to work at a place called Children's Rescue Mission, um, which, uh, was founded after this huge hurricane in the late 90s just devastated all of Honduras. And they basically feed 1,500 meals a week to, to young children, many of whom um, you know, are orphans or are living you know, with relatives you know, because the, it's such an economically challenged country that a lot of kids just get sort of left behind in the mix. So um, I went last year and I was able to teach guitar to a lot of, a lot of kids and stuff like that. So I'm going back That's to do that. So we're going to go and sing and play guitar and teach kids guitar. And, uh, and we're also going to go out and do art with kids in villages and bring, you know, meals and clothes and, um, you know, it, just important supplies that they can't get from day to day. Well, if you need any kazoos, 
to I, bring with you. You, you know, they actually these these are these are lovely little shoreline monthly kazoos. I will I will definitely bring some if you have some. Because I could I can get you some. All right. And then we could maybe get some Honduran vis viewers. <laughs> but, um, oh, and the, well, more I'm, importantly, sure we, we could get the youngins playing kazoo because that's the type of instrument that I mean you can just immediate if you can hum. You can play the kazoo. Uh, we could we could get 150 uh, kids from Honduras certainly uh, humming kazoos if you have that many. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yep. This hope is a pinhole of light Breaking my silence Testing my courage and If we can't shed these Layers of thick jaded skin We'll never move forward No, we'll never move forward again No, we'll never move forward no, we'll never move forward again Let's not fight till it's finished Let's talk like new lovers Let's wade through the rivers Till we are washed clean Clean up dead branches and the layers of hardships that choked us like brambles and tore at our seams. Through the good times, through the hardest of times, through the darkest nights of all. Let's not nitpick our faults We just gotta get through this Let's get honesty breathing Through the blood in our veins There's a look that you give me It's like a distant familiar It's like a little reminder That heals the pain Through the good times Through the hardest of times Darkest nights I'm always had you Through the good times Through the hardest of times Through the darkest nights I've always had you I've always had you I've always had you All right, I am back um, with Steve Rogers, and he has foolishly agreed to play From the Hip, um, the game show that, no, there's no winners or losers. That, it's, that's okay. It's just, it's not even a game show. Okay. I just ask more random, because I, I, basically it's that, so I could ask everybody whether they like cannolis or not, but there's other questions too. All right, well, hit me, I'll, we can talk about cannolis later. And I, I do love a good cannoli. Okay. Well, then I'll cross that one up. But that is, that is actually the second question. But you can answer it first. That's okay. You're the guest. Vanilla cannolis. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
See, I, I just don't really like them, and everybody does. And everybody I'm likes them. Yeah, so I'm just looking for someone who doesn't like them. <laughs> I, I need a soulmate, I man. I say that. Well, I'll find All you. All right, Suzanne is with me. <laughs> Suzanne Excellent. hates cannolis. What's the matter for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, They're a special occasion treat for okay. me, just throwing that out. Uh, how many musical instruments do you play? I play guitar, piano, bass, drums, um, and I'm a really bad horn player, but that's it. Which horn? Uh, trumpet. Trumpet. Yeah, I'm terrible. Are you? <laughs> I just built a... And sing. <laughs> and we, can, we can count that. Yes, that's, that, is a, that is an instrument that needs to be taken care of almost more than all the instru other instruments. As I'm reminded by my friend Greg with some <laughs> regularity. Um, who would you say you're the biggest influence on your writing style would be? That's I know it's evolved probably. Sure. I mean, there's so many. There's, there's so many over the years. I... Um, Honestly, one of my biggest influences of all time is a band that you've probably never heard of called Burlap to Cashmere. Um, I have not heard of them. And they're a terrific band from New York City, and they combined elements of uh, Greek music and folk music and pop music all together. And uh, they, they actually traveled the world um, and, uh, you know, in the 90s sold a couple hundred thousand albums, and they were terrific. But, you know, my brother and I used to open for them quite frequently, and there was just some, something so magical about them when they'd get on stage together. There, was, there were so many elements, but they all respected each other so much. Um, you know, nobody would try to play over anybody else. And, That's always and they nice. Would, they would play for the song. I, they're just a br brilliant band, Burlap we'll Cashmere. Thank yeah. you. Um, and again, this is, it's, a, it's a horrible phrase, a guilty pleasure, because mm -hmm. I, I feel that any music you like, it's fine to like. Mm -hmm. but if there was something on your iPod you might not want other people to see, what would it be? Hmm. Well, it's been a while since I had my iPod open. I'd have to really think about that one. Maybe, <laughs> what's that, uh, Whose Bed Have Your Boots Been Under song? Uh, oh, that, that was probably, but. I do not even know. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> some country Google song, that. Some country song. <laughs> there, you know, I, I, do, I do like uh, a lot of the classic country stuff, but I, I do have a little guilty pleasure. With, I think there's some really great writing. I just think it's not executed always perfectly, so. And what, if you recall, is the, the first actual hard copy of music that you bought with your own money? With my own money. The first thing first I ever bought with my own money. album or a cassette or a it was, generation at, it was at Rhymes Records, which was upstairs from the York Street Theater. Um, in the, this was in the late 80s or early 90s. And the first album that I ever bought was a local band called Chopper. And it was a four-song album. And they, it, there was a song called Nice Girls, They Don't Explode. <laughs> I, I don't remember well, all the rest of them. But <laughs> yeah, the, the singer, his name was Stephen Deal. And, and I, I just, you know, I sort of grew up um, in high school wanting to be this punk rock band and they were in a band called Bleach Black and then, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so that was my first record and then and then I bought the single uh, it was a seven inch record U2 3 which was three of U2's first release songs so yeah and one last one um, because we are coming into summer what is your favorite ice cream my favorite ice cream flavor oh boy I don't know anything Anything that's like salty, like a, one of those caramel salty ah, dealies. Yeah, yeah. There. yeah, that's kind of a new <laughs> twist too. I don't remember those as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad Anything they weird. Now. I like weird, okay. weird things. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much yeah. for playing my silly game. Take you down, yeah. The devil wants to take you down like a west wind fire blowing through a ghost town. The devil wants to take you down. Oh, all right. Yeah, the devil wants to take you in. Yeah, the devil wants to take you in. 
He swallows you whole and he spits you out again Yeah, the devil wants to take you in There's no way to the top of a mountain That's blocked by trees and flames There's no way to the top of a mountain When you're broken from the pain You caused yourself You caused yourself You caused yourself You caused yourself The devil wants to take you down yeah, the devil wants to take you down Through trials and trials and trials again The devil wants to take you down Alright oh, Alright oh, Yeah, the devil uses pretty things Yeah, the devil uses pretty things To lie and cheat and steal both your wings Yeah, the devil uses pretty things There's no way to the top of the mountain trees and flames. There's no way to the top of the mountain when you're broken from the pain. You cause yourself. You cause yourself. You cause yourself. Yeah, the devil wants to take you down Yeah, the devil wants to take you down Like a west wind fire blowing through a ghost town The devil wants to take you down right. Yeah, the devil uses pretty things <laughs> Yeah, the devil uses pretty things To buy and cheat and steal both your wings Yeah, the devil uses pretty things there's no way to the top of a mountain that's blocked by trees and flames. There's no way to the top of a mountain when you're broken from a pain. You cause yourself. You cause yourself.